This episode is brought to you by Integrity Pro Consulting. IPC is a ServiceNow sales, services, training, and technology partner, but I love them for their unique approach to services. IPC knows that project success is nothing without proper organizational change management, and each of its resources are trained in OCM frameworks. Check out the links below and see what a difference that can make for your organization. Hey everyone, welcome to the When in Rome series. Subscribers know that I make a playlist for every ServiceNow release showcasing features that catch my eye but Rome feels different. This is the first time I've been challenged when understanding a release deeply. Let me show you what I mean. First, Rome shows us how much new tech has been introduced in the last two or three releases. Take UI Builder, for example. Rome introduces new features for CSS theming and improvements to viewports. So what's the problem? I don't know anything about UI Builder right now, and the only people I do are top tier developers. Process automation also got a ton of love with enhancements to checklisting, conditionality, and testing. This is awesome, except process automation is another area that I didn't dive deep into in the last version. And speaking of processes, this feeling of shift isn't limited to just the platform tech. Rome is the first version where I felt really behind on process areas too. It used to be that I was able to generally keep up with each process, but Rome is showing how much each is specialized. It's just not scalable to keep up with that many processes anymore. Sounds like doom and gloom to me, Robert. No, it's the opposite, in fact, and here's why. Number one, ServiceNow is significantly retooling itself. Forms and lists aren't the miracles that they were a decade ago, and ServiceNow is pushing its limits to modernize interfaces and processes. It's happening so fast we can barely keep up with the names. Just think about the relationship between UI Builder, Seismic, and the Now experience. These are terms we're only just starting to understand, but they're going to be the de facto standard. Number two, processes are maturing beyond forms and lists linked by business rules. They each feel like distinct applications and continually get deeper. Only the most dedicated will be able to stay bleeding edge on a multitude of processes. Great news for the consulting industry. Number three, it's never been easier to go from nothing to rockstar in the ServiceNow space by just picking a process or a tech specialization. I've been saying it for over a year now, go deep, not wide. Rome is the most aptly named release to date. It reminds me of a rising Roman Empire, strong and nowhere near decline, master of vast new realms and domains, and now putting its mind to managing it all. An empire where those with merit and dedication can climb to great heights. I'm really curious what you think of the Rome release in general, so drop a comment below. Are you keeping up just fine? Were Rome's new improvements easy to navigate and understand for you? Are you as excited as I am? Thanks for listening, and I hope you get some value from this playlist. If you'd like to sponsor this channel's content, email me at the address pictured here. If you need a conversation on where your ServiceNow implementation is or where it's going, you can reach me on SuperPeers and book a short consult. If you want to contribute to high quality, high frequency output, consider a donation. If not, I still appreciate your viewership. Consider hitting the like button and sharing within your network. Thanks for watching.